start, start, but so put up start, 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 cause you're right, start, 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 but so put up start, 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 cause you're right, start, 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 but so put up start, 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 cause you're right, start, 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 but so put up start, start, start. You're a perfect person for a guy like me And I know for sure that with our bed to be If your heart is locked where I may have a good key Could you please be mine? Hey, are you trapped? Muscle, you broke my door I think you're fake Cause you stole my heart Stole my heart Trapped my soul Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Okay, Siri, when is the Sky Oblivion release date? Okay, Siri, when is the Sky Oblivion release date? Oh, this is fucking Samson. <laughs> anyway, we're working on Fort Grief today. Uh, thankfully, I planned out what I wanted to do first. So it won't be like the last stream where, you know, I didn't have any idea what to do. So I drew this amazing piece of concept art. It's fantastic, I know. Um, you understand it just by looking at it. You, you know exactly what I'm planning, don't you? Yeah. So I don't, <laughs> I don't need to explain it. So uh, let's get started. Walls first. Actually, no, clearance first. I got to clear everything, including the old fort. So yeah, let's get started. So gotta say, well actually I'll keep that statue. Why am I not in the 2D team? I don't know either. I think they, you know, thought I was too good. They didn't want to make the other members feel bad. I get it, it's a, it's a politics thing, you know? These are all the old assets. We don't need them anymore. Isn't this fort ridiculously close to the last one you worked on? Yes, it is, actually. Um, there it is. It's not all of it's loading in. Because, you know, it's a little bit away. But yeah, it's very, very close. In fact, I can show you on the map. Just how close it is. That's what we're working on today, and that's Fort Oris that we worked on a few days ago. Yeah. Hey, Asper. Make a bridge? No, I don't want to make a bridge over to it. That's too far. If I were to make a bridge. It would probably, well, I think when you're making a bridge, you want to make it between the closest two points to save resources. So I think it would be like across here. 
It's awkward. If I were to make one, I, I don't think I will. I kind of like it being an island. This, uh, this fort, this island, you can't actually, uh... I don't think you can fast travel to it. I have to be careful here. Breeze, thank you so much for the Prime Sub, man. Really appreciate it. I have to be very careful here because this... So I think before you activate the quest associated with this fort, um, if you go up to this fort and you try to activate this this switch to open the gate, it'll say something along the lines of um, the gate is rusted shut. But whenever you uh, activate... Whenever you activate the quest, it'll work. I gotta leave that. And I gotta take that into account when designing this place. I gotta make it pretty... Uh, I, li I actually kind of like what Ollie did here with these these posts. I wonder if there's a way I can incorporate that. Let me just take myself some time here. Part of the quest where you get tricked by the smelly orc. Well, I mean, you could have just called him an orc. I don't think there was any need for the smelly part. I like the bridge broken due to corrosion and thus unreachable via bridge. That's a pretty good idea, actually. TS4RF. I should speed things up. The hell is that? And why is its bind box so big? TS4M plank wall. Hey, Kira. Okay, so... Who the hell are you? Oh, they're a fisherman. As far as I know, there's two quests associated with this place. Port Grief. Okay, so, like, um... I've already forgotten the name of it. Fort Oris. Like Fort Oris, this is also associated with the quest where you have to find a, a rare bottle of wine for Nusa. So that's that's kind of a very open-ended quest. It doesn't actually, I don't think it gives you any, it, it doesn't give you any quest marker. It just says you can find these old vintage wine bottles in some Imperial Fort ruins. And I kind of like that, that it doesn't give you any uh, specific markers, because it kind of just gives you the incentive to just go, go into every single one you can find. But I think this, this is a bit, bit of a bigger quest it's associated with. Learn of Ursan's missing husband. Confront her about this and she will direct you to the Lone Shark, Cardan. Cardan tells you to go to an island in the Nibbin Bay. When you arrive and speak to Alaron, he informs you it's all a game. Defeat the pursuing hunters. Make it out of the dungeon. Ooh. I think whoever gets the interior to that is going to have fun. Making it a sort of um, hunting grounds. 
Defeat the pursuing hunters and make it out of the dungeon. Defeat Cardan. Take his key off. Gonna get off the island. I think I kind of remember this quest. It's been a while. It's been a long while. But I, uh, I like the sound of that. How's that doing here? For a robe? Huh. Any info on that? Exterior is loaded here. Um, the wooden chest containing two Shadow Barish wine. It's locked. Okay. Some of the above items are clustered at location C. Four iron arrows, one red silk hood, one pair of gold trimmed shoes, and one red silk robes. I wonder why that's there. Okay. It's there, it's there. But I gotta make sure, are these collision boxes? Because sometimes the collision boxes and the oblivion trigger boxes look the exact same. Has the fort been remade before? Because how... Yes. Um, it looked different there because we we kind of remade the forts a little bit before we had our new fort assets. Um, so... I think, I think at the time... We didn't know... We didn't know how our new Ford assets were going to be, or how they were going to be made. We, I think at the time we thought they were going to be direct replacers, so we could work with the exact same old assets and build the structures that we want, and then over time the models would get replaced, but they would get replaced with the, the models with like the exact same dimensions and similar shapes with just better poly kind, better textures. But that ended up not, you know, coming to fruition. Instead, we got this... This kit set, which, in my opinion, is much, much better. That lets us build things that are far more, um... Open. Actually, what's that asset called? I kind of like those. Agriven sticks? Okay. Right. I'm going to get a top down of this. Similar to the picture. Okay. I'm going to clear all of the vertex coloring on this island. I'll make it look very flat, but don't worry. Skyrim has better shadows anyway, so you don't really need to uh, fake the shadows. Or people, they used to use it to fake shadows and to kind of fake ambient occlusion. up on another window. Potato Island? Potato Island? What kind of potato have you, have you been eating? A weird shape for a potato? Or were you just insulting my homeland? Tilt my head, it kind of looks like Pac-Man. What, is this like his nose? And this is his open mouth? Looks like a dog. Yeah, I can see like this is the snout and this is the mouth open. Look, we can do Rorschach uh, Island 
Till the fucking Kai's come home. But we got a fort to build. I think moving it over a little bit. to kind of give it a rough plan. I feel like I ain't getting enough recognition for drawing this with a mouse. I imagine this is being more functional type of fort when it was built as opposed to more decorative. Well, yeah, I'm going to build it similar to how I usually build the forts, which is I'm going to make it look new and then I'm going to tear it down. Um, and I think there's a good amount I can tear this down because it uh, it's on like an island that's probably hit with a lot of storms. I think a good amount of degradation is to be expected. I'm actually telling D to get charred for assets for the building. Um, well, we're gonna need we're gonna need um like burnt versions of the four textures because I still I keep forgetting that I have to do this. I still have the Blackwood border gate to remake with the new Ford assets. That's gonna be a fun stream. So yeah, we are actually gonna need um We're gonna need textures like that. It's just one problem is is I suck at making textures and you know we are swamped with um enough things on the to-do list that we can barely find a texture artist to help us out. This is going to be a, um...
Like a, another dock. A dock where, like, maybe a bigger ship would have... ...stayed at. Okay. <laughs> Looks all nice and neat from up top, and then you see... ...the actual fucking height of the land. Am I drawing so straight with the mouse? I'm just that good. He's taking Benadryl, that's why he's so focused. I thought that made you sleepy. If anything, that would do the opposite, wouldn't it? The actual real secret as to why, as to how I'm able to draw it so straight is because the land mesh in Skyrim is very, very low poly. So I'll show you. Like, it's so low poly, that there kind of counts as a pixel. It's almost like a pixel. So it's kind of hard to go outside. Even though I still kind of am going outside the line. So you can't actually, you can't actually make realistic looking curves um, close. This is me trying to make like a nice curve. See, it's very blocky. <laughs> You know, if I were to do it bigger, sure, it kind of looks nicer. It's like giving it more pixels. So it ain't skill, it's just very old software. Many teams were visiting Ford across the world. What? Skyrim being old helps for drawing. Hmm. Although I wouldn't say I wouldn't say the land mesh and the vertex painting is um, a very good software for painting stuff. I think you best stick with like Photoshop, GIMP, even Paint would be better. Imagine that's one switch for before you activate the quest, and one for after. Are these guys all dead? Yeah, starts dead. Okay. Let's smooth this. Gotta prep the land before I start building. That's a good indication of the Shadow Banish. I think that would actually be a really good idea. At some point, you go around all of the forts. Or like, one of us goes around all of the forts and figures out which ones have the Shadow Banish wine in them. And we come up with a, a nice little subtle way of, um, you know, hinting to the player that there's Shadow Banish wine inside. 
you know, when, before you go into a, uh, a dungeon filled with necromancers, you'll find, like, a lot of rotting corpses outside the dungeon to kind of indicate, you know, this is what you're going to run into. So maybe, like, caches of, like, wine kegs. Okay, let's um start building the wall. Actually no, bridge is what I'm looking for. Something to fit this. Hmm. Does that fit? I think that fits fucking perfectly. Oh, almost like it was made for it. It wasn't. There's a lot, yeah, there's a lot of wiggle room. There's gonna be a little space above. Right. Let's make a wall. And I need you, Khajiit, to just help me out with some scales. Be a bit bigger, couldn't No, actually, I have to make it out of these more individual pieces. It's easier to um, manipulate. Use blue. Okay, good. I'm gonna try and do this like a faster way, where I don't add, I don't do it kind of like in passes, I just build like an entire wall piece and then just copy it. It's kind of the way I should do it, but I, I rarely ever do. Ruined thick entrance? I think I know what you're talking about. Um, No, too thin. It says it's thick, but it, it's too it's too small. Where was the other one? Is it gate it's called? Issue is 
Yeah, see, I can see this piece here. I can build this piece separately. And I can also make it look a bit more ruined than that, because that's just a piece that I can't manipulate. It's been a while, man. I haven't seen you in ages. How's it going? Thanks so much for the sub. Congrats on eight months. Hi, I've heard a lot about Sky Oblivion, and although I haven't personally kept up with it too much myself, I can't imagine the work it's taking. Thanks for working so hard. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Trim. You hear Fluffy? Thank you so much for the follow. from Twitch, Twitch for ages. Hope you're doing well. Likewise, man. I'm doing pretty good. Bill violated. Jesus. Thank you so much for the follow. That one's always a tough one to figure out the battlements. Actually, let me see that again, what that's made out of. Okay. I don't know why, but for some reason this gate is, is the most awkward thing to grab. Hey, grab the first time there. So I should think I think I should figure out this um gate first. Is it possible to replace the gate? You mean the actual gate model itself? Uh, yeah, I think it should be. Simple replace, but I don't think I need to. Is that the same model I'm looking for? No, that's way bigger. Um, let's see. Oh! 
Hey Simon. I think this is the artist I've seen the design phase of one of your chords. Yeah. Luckily I know what I'm doing with it, so not running around like a headless chicken. Actually, no, you're a bit too thin. I might end up having to use this. Okay. I'll figure it out. Figure it out. Keep that there for safekeeping. Actually, no. Pick that. Duplicate it. And keep it on the same level. the job of matching it up with this wall. It's not the same height as the template. Oh, I gotta fix the template. There we go. I do 3D modeling. Uh, I do 3D modeling, but never got the chance on game engine level design. Seems quite similar to kit bashing. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, yeah, very much is. This doesn't have to fit perfectly with my, um, draw it. But it wouldn't hurt if it did. Now I'm gonna make a tar on the corners here, so as well. How's about you and do another button? There's no more buttons left, actually. That's all the buttons undone. Ugh. Just showing up to head on D. 
I have an all-day class. Okay. Thanks for thirsting? Is that a thing people say? Menno isn't here, apparently, so I just realized that I should probably save. He just ignores his devs? I never ignore people! Who said that, Carol? I think I know you. I'm not quite sure. I ignored your question. Oh! I noticed that when I go... Uh, how do I stop this chat from him? I noticed that when I go back, when I go to check ports or other areas in game, the NPCs just drop dead when I enter the cell. Or a tad before that, I don't know. Have I broke something? That is weird. Um. And they're definitely not supposed to be dead? Have you tried cleaning your plugin? I don't know, like. Weird things happen with doors, and that apparently that gets fixed with cleaning the plugin. Maybe, maybe cleaning the plugin might help. I pinged you twice. I don't see it. Like, is it only the fort areas? Drifting off center. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks for the save, Stormcrow. No, the Shrine of Malabal too. When I entered the cell, they dropped dead. Hmm. <laughs> it's so weird, though. That is incredibly weird. Might be something that gets fixed on merge. Fucking hope so. That's going to have to clip in a little bit. If I can put a trim over it, that's fine. Is this heaven? Oh, I mean, if it's your idea of heaven. that causes no problems. He has a hatred for all things cylindrical. Mm. Game engines don't tend to like things that are cylindrical, either. True Wiggler King. Thank you so much for the follow.
a little bit too big. It's an incredibly messy way to do this, but sadly I have to. Unless! One, two, three, four, five, six. Why Shadow made corbels like that, I will never know. <laughs> and he did it just to annoy us. There's like four little teeth sticking out of the corbels. But the separate pieces are in threes rather than fours. Quite a nightmare. Are you also placing objects inside slash enemy spawn locations? Um, well, I I won't be doing that. I won't be doing the interior of the dungeon. Um, at least I don't think so. I don't I haven't planned on it yet. But um. That's, that's up to the interior artist. Uh, this is a quest location, so I don't really want to mess around with it too much. When it comes to us, like, doing quests, we don't mess around with... Um... Like, kind of already established scripting. Because people want to play, you know, the game they remember. And not have a bunch of amateurs, like... Oh shit, that's sticking out way too far. Not have a bunch of amateurs, like, try to remake a quest that doesn't need rewritten. Trying to get a 3070. I resorted to getting a pre built. Ah, sucks. Is that the way? Is that the only way people can get like graphics cards now? <laughs> Via a pre built? Actually, no. I think I'll, I, won't, I won't do the roofs that way. Why use four model when you use one? Simp. Oh. Thanks for the sea of storm crow. We'll be changing those requirements. I 
I would definitely say that Sky Oblivion is going to be a bit higher poly, like per cell, than um, than Skyrim. I would really like to get, I would love to have, um, like a decent, a decent, like low, lowish mid range -ish computer to like test Skyrim on. Just to really help me out with optimizing because you know, if you if you do your optimizing on like a really high range computer, and mine's not like really high range, but it's decent. You know, you're only gonna you're only gonna probably optimize it to the best of your computer's ability, not really to other people's. I, I, I sometimes I sometimes have uh, nightmares of Digital Foundry doing episodes of Sky Oblivion and you know running those frame time tests they love to do and just you know lambasting the horrible performance. So performance is something I definitely love to like crack down. It's it's not it's not difficult though to um, get it to run well. Well, it shouldn't be. I'm just gonna place a shit ton of occlusion planes and hope for the best. Cause I, I used to have I used to have Lewin running very, very like smoothly. Cause the place was just filled with occlusion planes and I think lately when I was checking it out, it was running pretty badly. I was wondering what the hell was going on. Was it because I replaced? I I did I did a lot of like touching up. Then I remembered I'd like ripped out all of the occlusion planes because I had to redo stuff. And so now Leowen has no occlusion planes and runs like poop. Well, it's just a matter of putting it back in. D, my girlfriend says you have puppy eyes and that you look innocent. Good! Because we all know puppies get away with a lot. So, like, in other words, I can come to your house, shit on your carpet, and get pet. That's, that's fucking great, in my eyes. You better watch out, boy, because your carpet's getting shit on. And you know, as cute as puppies are, they don't poop rainbow gumdrops. That shit smells as well. What am I talking about? Nico Snipping and UOX. Thank you so much for the follow.
Actually, second thoughts, take those out. Guess that's how it is. I think the most interesting part will be to see how you were in the fort. It's always fun, yeah. Um, I was worried there for a second. Yeah, I think it's always the most fun part because, um, It's more fun when you've built the fort to look new and then you start to tear it down. I especially like keeping these streams um, because we've, we've, we've thought about an idea very recently where, oh, that's fitting nearly perfectly. We've thought about an idea where, um, since there's a good amount of footage of these streams that I've saved of building these forts um, to look new first, some of the concept artists. Irish internet is shitty again today. Oh my god, I've got 25,000 skipped frames. 20% of the stream is skipped? Fucking Christ almighty. I swear to Christ. Okay, it's gonna, it's not going to be very good reference material then. But what we were looking to do uh, was we have an artist paint, or we have an artist do art of the fort as how it looked when it was pristine, and then we, you know, we place them in areas like in a house or something, and when you you know, activate that painting, it shows you the map marker for that that fort, and then you can go to that fort but see it, you know, pretty run down. The internet, com the internet for my company's Irish data provider is alright, so maybe it's not just these one. Sound is alright though. Is it like every three seconds? Are you fucking joking me? I swear to God, like, here's the thing, my internet will always be shit for as long as I'm living here. Like, it doesn't matter how strong the internet is, this building is just so goddamn fucking thick. Like, the walls are so god... See if my, see if my neighbor was being murdered brutally in a fire? I wouldn't hear it. You could fire cannons at this this building all day and the thing won't come down 
And it's because of that that the fucking internet is just blocked. It's like three seconds of skip and one second of frame. Are you fucking joking me? Is it that bad? Are you serious? Is it actually that bad? I have no idea what I can do with it because I do not want to. And I'm getting like four bars, which is supposed to be okay. Alright, goddamn second. I might, like, this might kill the stream while I'm running this. So bear with me. It's not... That is an insane amount, like 20% of frames during this stream is being skipped. Oh my god, it is kind of bad. No rocket teams? I'm building a fucking fort, Croft Reaper. Of course it's bearable, it's just annoying, but I no, it's I hate that. Like and I thank you for being able to like put up with it, but I wish you didn't have to. I swear to fucking Christ. It annoy it's annoying the fuck out of me. Like I left my my other provider, which was much cheaper to go to a provider that I thought was going to give me much better internet. And it turns out it wasn't the original provider's fault. It's just where I live. We really need, we need to figure that fucking internet out. We really do. I mean, like, in general. Because, like, what's the point in watching this fort get built if you're if you can't watch the fort get built, you know? Where's Twitch stuff? It's not Twitch. Did, did it just start getting really bad or is it, has it always been like that from the start of the stream? It's not that bad. Uh, it is for me, though. Okay, we've done the walls. Oh, we haven't done all of the walls yet, but they're out. Oh my god. Okay, I tell you what. That I saw it drop the 700 kilobytes. That's unacceptable to me. I'm I'm going to restart the stream. I'm going to do the thing I do to make it run better, but it Here's the thing. I have to decide between horrible frame skipping and a disconnection every like 30 minutes. That's what I have to choose between. Cuz in order for me to get better reception, I have to take the SIM card out of my modem, put it in my phone, put it in a better spot, so then I'm tethering the fucking internet from my phone that's using the internet SIM card. The only issue is the fact that for some just reason, whenever it wants, it'll just disconnect the entire stream and restart it. 
Breathe, dude, breathe. I breathe when I complain all the time. Don't worry. I'm a professional breather. You know? I've been doing it for 27 years. Okay? I can breathe so well that people can't even see me do it. But, so, for some reason, it randomly disconnects. So I'm going to choose that instead. Because 20% of skipped frames is just unfucking acceptable. So, I will be right back. <laughs> 